The National Security Council Bill 2015 does not target individuals unlike previous legislations. In an exclusive interview with The Star recently, Deputy Home Minister Datuk Nur Jazlan Mohammed says the bill, unlike the now repealed Internal Security Act 1960, can only be used to address security threats in a certain area. Yes, we have POTA, Prevention of Terrorism Act. Yes, we have POCA, Pre Prevention of uh, Crime Act. We have uh, preventive measures like SOSMA, you know, uh, which uh, we can use. But they are not as effective as the NSC bill because there are four uh, cases uh, in the usual, uh, in the business as usual uh, 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 scenario. In the light of globalization, in the light of phenomenon of transnational crime and um, counterterrorism uh, uh, needs, we need to respond quickly. And therefore, the, the NSC needs to become more prominent today. I think this is, this is what people confuse with. The, how does the government handle these type of uh, transborder uh, threats and also which requires quick response to uh, quelling uh, political um, uh, dissent? It's not the same thing and I, uh, I hope that people do not confuse uh, the two, the two uh, at all. Nor Jazlan says some groups like Burse are worried that the bill will be used to control political activities. However, Nor Jazlan acknowledges the public perception that people can be charged under the bill, referring to the case of ex amno leader Datuk Sri Khairuddin Abu Hassan and his lawyer Matthias Chang being charged under SOSMA. Sometimes the government makes mistakes, but at least the mistake can be, uh, can be addressed and corrected by the courts. Proven. None. Before, if, he, if they were detained in the ISA, yeah. you know, it's up, it's up to the Home Minister to, 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 to uh, yeah. decide when, when, when uh, you know, whether they are released or not. The issue now is about the perception or, 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 the, or the trust in institutions and people carrying out, you know. So I think that's an unfair perception. Nor Jazlan said any bodily threats to the three pillars of the nation, which are the executive, legislative and judiciary branches of government, can be deemed as security issues. That's why you know, the security threat is always evolving and you know, we are always behind the, behind the curve when it comes to handling transnational uh, crime and uh, terrorism. This is our problem today. They're always behind the curve. It's very difficult to catch the perpetrators as they are doing it. That's why that's why the uh, you know uh, communications minister was added into the into the council because it concerns the internet.